This is going to be our first time Elmo document camera USB setup so that our document camera works with our computer. You will need your projector and Elmo document camera. Make sure that your document camera is turned on and the light is blue. If you're connecting with the VGA cable, you wanna make sure that you plug it into out. And I'm gonna plug the other end to computer one here on my projector. To control our document camera, we're going to use the remote today. We're gonna to focus on the menu button, the left, right, up and down arrow keys, and the enter button. Once your projector is turned on, you may see some setup screens. Um, if asked to select your region, go ahead and use your up and down arrow key to select North America, and then press the enter button to make your selection. After selecting, go ahead and confirm using your left and right arrow keys and the enter key to select OK. You're gonna be able to see the view of your document camera if it's turned on. We need to access the menu, so go ahead and use your remote, point it towards your document camera and press the menu button. You should have a screen that looks something like this. We wanna make sure that we can access the settings button. We'll use the little carrot directions to go left, right, and down in order to select the settings gear button. So you're going to use the toggles to get there. Keep going to the right. There you go. Press enter. Okay, so from here, what we want to do is we want to scroll down until we get to... There we go. Automatically casting screen and we want to turn that off. So go ahead and click the enter button. There we go, and then scroll down. There we go, till we get to USB camera, and then we want to turn it on, so enter button. Okay, and so now you can hit the menu button to exit out, and we should be set up to use our USB with our computer. One, plug the USB into your computer. Launch the EIT software that is available in self-service. Give it a moment and you'll see that the software will connect. It's selecting my document camera, hopefully. Patience. Another thing to check that's really important is just making sure that your document camera is turned on. And of course, as we do that, there it goes, it appeared. So we just had to be patient, but now we have the software available. Just real quickly, um, the tools over here on the top left are movable, so you can drag them around if needed. Okay. Um, you'll notice that if you need to switch cameras, you can use this little camera button here. When you're ready to close out of the application, you can press this X. Some important buttons to take note of are down here at the bottom. You have your rotate button. There we go. And then we have the freeze button. So I'm going to go ahead and click the freeze button. So if you're working on something and you want to put your hand there, Laura, you'll notice that it's not reflecting the same thing, it's frozen. And if I unfreeze, I'm gonna unfreeze now, it will show true of what's really there. There we go. So freeze and unfreeze. You of course have your zoom out and zoom in. I'll zoom in just a little bit here. And then your AF is autofocus. Let's autofocus that. There we go. And then of course your brightness, you can adjust that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this application, but that's just a quick little run through to get started with your document camera.